watching this man's videos about the last year and a half. He comes off in his videos as very welcoming, informative, and, and, and kind. I met him for the first time last weekend. So when you do the inverted rows, like this is your rear delts back here. This is what is working. And you can see with uh, Scott here that he has the bolder shoulder. Quality over quantity, people. Four. Five. Now hold it. What's on YouTube? It's your boy Scott Brown here back with another video. In today's video, I'm here with some OGs, man. But they're not from New York. They came all the way from South Jersey. And I'm on it, man. Talk to them. What's going on? Mac Noodles representing Black Charter Fitness here with Scott Bernhardt. About to get this workout in. Let's go. Talk to him. Mr. Brown here. Camden representing all day. Oh. Here with Mac Noodles, Black Charter Fitness, here to get some work in. Listen, man, you already know what time it is. And today we're gonna show you calisthenic workouts to stay young and fit forever. We got 48 years young, 50 years young, and then you got 30 years young. So I'm gonna work out with some OGs today and we're gonna show what we do what we do, all right? You ready? Yes, sir. Let's go, man. Yes, sir. Let's go. Yes, let's go. sir. All right, OG, so what we wanna do first, right? I just wanna show you the incline push-up. I know you know how to do an incline push-up, but there's a certain routine that I like to do, right? right. So it's called a 220, 220 push-up. But we're not gonna do that. We're just gonna go from like one to five and then five back down. So basically with the incline push-up, it's really good for your upper chest right here. So grip the bar, make sure that you tighten up the core, it's very important. And retract your scapula. A lot of people doing push-ups forward like this, but not knowing that you're actually putting more emphasis on the front delt, all right? But what you wanna do, you wanna retract the scapula and get that chest going, because that's what we're working, right? The push-up, we're just gonna retract the scapula. So instead of me here, I'm like, gonna bring it out right here, right? Now watch me, down, one, two, three, four, and five. The key to this right here, is to add the hypertrophy. So we're gonna keep on going. So five reps and then five reps. Four, four, three, three, two, two, one, one. All right? Good, one, two, three, four, five, good. Now you're gonna come over here and then do your five, right? And I'm gonna do five right here. One, two, three, go. One, two, three, four, five. Good, now we switch it. So now it's gonna be four. And another thing too that you wanna do, anytime you're doing push-ups, try to lock yourself in. Keep yourself as one stable unit. It sense that your upper body is going up and your lower body is down here. That's how you create the banana effect. So what you wanna do, you wanna take your time and also tuck in your elbows. I see a lot of cats, OG. They're winging it. They're winging it. Not knowing that you can really injure yourself. And what we want to do, we want to prevent injuries as much as possible so we can be able to work out even more for the long run. Because it's all about longevity at the end of the day. Put that in your textbook. So, <laughs> so four. One. Two. Three. Good. Yep. Good. Now we're just gonna slowly click go down, go down, go down. Now hold it. One, two, three, four, five. Now come up. Push it, push it, push it, push it, push it. Woo! Maybe we should have did ten. <laughs> One, <laughs> two. Now slowly come down, slowly, slowly, slowly come down, come down, come down, come down, come down. One, two, three, four, five. Now come up. Push, 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 push. Good. Now for this last one, we're gonna make sure that we work from the negative, which is the concentric to the eccentric motion. So we're gonna hold for 10 seconds, right? And then we're gonna come up and then hold for 10 seconds. I'm trying to make the reps count. Quality over quantity. I see a lot of guys, OG, that keep doing these fast yeah, reps. Yeah, yeah, fast you know, endurance, but if we're looking to build muscle, you know, we're looking to maximize our gains, we need to slow it down and be in control of the momentum. Don't let the momentum control you. It's all about controlling your body. All right, now, let's go. Hold it. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now come up slowly. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Woo! Good money right there. Good money. How you feeling right now? Let's go. I'm ready for the next one. He's ready for the next, next one. Next round, let's go. All right, let's switch it to brother Eugene. Finish it up, finish it up. So 10 seconds down and 10 seconds up. Okay. All right. Squeeze. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Hook. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now come up. Ooh, Ooh come up. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold it. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. ten. Woo! How you feel? Oh, they they work. They they hurt. They, uh, they work and they hurt. They work and they hurt. They Pain work and they hurt. Is Pain is How long you been at? working out, OG? To be honest, uh, what? A year? It's been a year this a year, summer. Yeah. A year? A year and a half. Yeah, I've been working out for a year and a half. Never too I was late. Sick. Talk to him. A long time, and uh, my brother just pulled me out to the park with him, and he hurt me so bad. Then I was like, I gotta come back. Yeah, there, there you go. There you go. <laughs> it's a different, come back. It's a different kind of hurt. Ever since. I've been rocking ever since. That is beautiful, ever man. Since. How long you been working out, OG? I've been working out about uh, seven years now. I've, wow. I've been in the gym from uh, 2015 up to the pandemic. What happened with the pandemic, you know, everything was closed. So after some time, I had to figure out, I wanted to lift heavy. And I started watching these YouTube videos and I found your boy, Scott. <laughs> Yo, truly, like, oh, man. I appreciate it. I can lift heavy just by lifting my own body weight. There you go. I can do that. So what you're seeing right here, and I'm not saying I'm ping ping like this guy, but I'm ping ping for 48. Hey, hey, hey! Don't hurt, don't hurt nobody. Don't hurt nobody. If it wasn't for the calisthenics and this bar work, this is what happened with that. When I was in the gym, I didn't see none of these games. Wow. The last year and a half, I've seen all this here. Looking good, OG. Thank you, bro. <laughs> yes, Thank sir. You. And there's more to come. There's more to come. Me and with OG G right now, and we're about to get started with some decline pushes. So we did the incline work, now it's time for the decline work. All right, so you familiar with decline pushes, yes, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You know? Not, but I, I, I'm familiar with them. I'm familiar you know, with them. I gotta always like put it in my head like, yo, you only started like a year and some, uh -huh. you know? And, and this is a perfect example that it's never too late. Mm -hmm. You know, because some people feel like they're too old to work out or they feel too old to stay active. How do you feel about that? I feel like you was really, and it might be cliche, but you only old as you feel. Right. You know what I'm saying? And I just feel like every day is a new day to learn and grow. Right. And so as long as you willing, your mind is open to be willing to grow, whether it's through your health and wellness, whether it's through your you know, knowledge, whatever you, just be open and willing to grow and you'll be fine. So to me, you know what I mean? I don't look at it as I'm too old. I look at you and I look at the guys that's out here working as teachers. To me. Right. And I'm learning from y'all. Just like I'm pretty sure there's some things y'all can learn from me. So exactly. I, it's, it's a cultural exchange for me. And this is why we here. Yes. We can't push us, man. Sir. So come right here, OG. Yep. Yes, sir. So we're coming here. Right? We're gonna do a good 12. So make sure you contract your core, you know, keep it stable, and also retract your scapula. Alright? So let me go down. Oh, one. Come with me. One. Two. Two. Three, three, four, four, five, five, six, six, seven, seven, eight, eight, nine, nine, ten, ten, one, one, and two. Hold it right here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and down. Slowly, 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 hold it. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Slowly come up and lock out. Woo! That was just 12. That was just 12 and the chest is already pumping. You see what's going on here, man. Quality over quantity. 
ask too, like, now that you start to get into this healthy lifestyle and you're working out, on pace, uh -huh. right, how would you explain your training style? It doesn't seem like you're really explosive. And that's fine because you want to protect your joints as you get older and age. So how do you explain that? Well, for me, working out with Black Charter Fitness, working out with, uh, uh, this is my friend. We've been friends for over 20 years. That's an OG now. But Thanks. he's really more like a coach to me yeah. as far as the calisthenics coach. So for me, just seeing how he looked and the energy that he had when he came into the building, right. every day I was like, yo, I want to be able to move and feel like that. So for me, you know, I try to do cardio. I try to get out here and do calisthenics. I, I prefer that over the weights. You talked about that earlier. Like my body is way better than it ever was. Right. Even when I was younger and using weights. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like I'm training properly. Even though I know my body needs rest, I feel like I could do calisthenics every single solitary there you day. Go. But I know that I gotta build rest days and things like that. And exactly. I don't know if I answered the question, but. No, it's fine. Okay. Yeah, no. So basically, what you're saying is like, he's going at his own pace. He's not trying to do what everybody else is doing. Oh, no. You know, because everybody has his journey, right? Everybody is unique. Everybody's path is different. So, yeah, and you can learn and you can. You can take what you learn like I'm taking what I'm learning from you and right. I implement that I take what I learned from him and I just work out and vibe and just and just like I said it's just a growing it's just a, my, my mental and my physical is growing so hey Nova so what we're gonna do now we're gonna superset it but we're gonna add some tricep dips into it now so we just finished doing some decline push-ups and we're gonna do some tricep dips right here all right so one thing with tricep dips that I really like you know isolated movement whatever the case may be but also, you wanna have your hands to the side instead of your hands like mm -hmm. this. Because when you come down, you don't notice that you're pushing so much weight on your wrist. Wait, Neil, come right here. So, look at my wrist as I'm coming down. Look at that. Yep. You see that right there? I never So, that. in order to keep your wrist safe and healthy, I would prefer you to do it to the side. And your tricep will have more activation as well too. So, one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. You see that right there? Mm, right horseshoe. there. Talk about horseshoe. Talk about that horseshoe. Huh? Come on. <laughs> you see the horseshoe? It's supposed to. <laughs> Come on. Ah! About to show me a nice routine on the dip bar, the parallel bars. And I'm excited right now. So what you gotta show me, man? All right, so this is something that we do back home in South Jersey, talking about Camden, New Jersey. We'll have our, our fitness group. We're here on the, uh, the parallel bars. And what we're gonna do, the cool thing about calisthenics, compound movements. You're not just working one muscle group. And no disrespect to weightlifters and everything like that, because yes, theoretically, you work on more muscle groups at one particular time, but with calisthenics, you're really like, muscle groups, period, are getting worked just with one particular exercise. Right. Muscle At the same time, we're also trying to uh, build up your endurance, mm. right? So what we're gonna do is, we're gonna do five dips here, right? We're gonna do what I call the dip walk. Mm. Not a crip walk, but a dip walk. The dip walk. <laughs> you're gonna come on this end and also do another five dips. Ooh. I'm gonna show you, but you can also add to it if you really want the burnout when you get to the end. But we're gonna start here first. All right? So you're here, you wanna get yourself up. Now, you wanna stand uh, straight up just like this. You're gonna be working more tries. But if you lean just a little bit here forward, you're gonna be working your chest along with your tries. So I like to lean a little bit. So I'll do five here on this end. Five here. And then we're gonna do our dip walk. That is not easy. This that is not, not easy. easy. And here, same. Ah. Woo! 
dear brother was from. <laughs> if it's shaking, it's baking. Now from here? Okay. Woo. Brother broke down. Woo. But from here, you can get your rear end by doing those so knee ups. So before I broke down, just doing this here. Now this move is not only activating your core, but you're still working your arms, particularly your forearms, because you gotta hold yourself up. Mm. So you're working your forearms, and you're still getting this here. Everything is still activated on just these dips, the dip walk, and then you got that core action going. We're gonna see what Brother Bernhard right. got on this here. I really like this routine right here, because it's like, it's an all-in-one. It's an all-in-one in inclusive. Give me 20. I'm gonna give him 20. I'm gonna give him 20, I'm gonna walk and give him 20. All right? It's the burn hallway. Ready? Can you come for me? Two. Three. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Once. Doce. Trece. Catorce. Quince. Diecisiete. Diecisiete. Dieciocho. Diecinueve. Veinte. Now we're walking. One, two, three, four, Woo! five, feel the burn. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ah. eleven, ah. twelve, ah. thirteen, ah. fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. You got it, you got it. Eighteen. What my man say? Work hard, burn hard. That's nineteen. You got to know. work hard, burn hard. This is. 20 right here. This yes, sir. 20, 20, 20. One, two, three, four, four. five. Come on. Six. Eight. Got it. Seven. Eight. Come get that core, coach. Nine. Ten. Keep going. Eleven. Eleven. Twelve. Y'all can see the core activated. Look at this core activation right here. You can see this core activation. That's 17. 18. Two more. And 20. I'm holding. I'm holding. Hold. Hold. Oh, this more. ISO. This more. ISO. Ah. Woo! Nice. That's how you do it. Nice. All right, family. So right now we're about to get into the inverted row, which is one of my favorite workouts. You know why? If you get to the inverted row, then you're gonna be able to do a pull up. So this is like the prerequisite. Everybody, beginner, intermediate, advanced, Absolutely. and what have you. OG Neil's gonna go through the routine of the inverted row and everything. See this guy, right? Oh, let's right here. <laughs> Shout out to OG Drywall, man. Appreciate you. <laughs> I ain't motivated, but yeah. You already know, Shout out. What we're about to do right now, we're about to do the invertebral. Wait, OG, you know what? Some people is going to ask, what is your eating lifestyle? What are you, like, you vegan? Vegan. vegan. He's vegan. 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 How long? Vegan about two years now, but I've been, I started out vegetarian over 20 years ago. All right. And then within the last two years, you know, I decided to make that pro, so we became vegan. And how you feel so far? Oh, very well. And it, it's, you know what? It's cliche when vegans talking about, oh, when I veered off and I had, and I'm not even just vegan. Let's just be clear. Right, not yeah, just so, vegan. So. Whole food, plant-based vegan. Okay? So for me, I try to reduce, if not just eliminate altogether, the amount of processed foods that I eat. So that's no chips, that's no cookies, no crackers, like anything highly processed, I try to stay away from. Whole foods. Whole foods, whole foods. It keeps you uh, satiated, and it, it it gives your body exactly what it needs. When you talk about how do I feel, because I'm eating those type of foods, that's that's my medicine. That's my medicine. Let that food be that medicine, people. Exactly. You know, he'll got stuff for food. So that being the case, I, I'm always energized. I feel light. You know, even when I eat, yeah, I feel like I eat, but I'm not lethargic. I don't feel like I got a, a I'm button, my top button, like, oh, let it all hang out. Let the itis. Exactly, oh, yeah. exactly, exactly. <laughs> so with the foods that I eat, it, uh, it does just that. It energizes me. It uh, gives me the proper nutrition that my body needs. And I think that's pretty much what it is nowadays, where you got to be conscious and mindful of what you eat. Not trying to be preachy. But in this day and time, and I know it's becoming cliche as well about the pandemic and what we came out of the pandemic. Talk to one of the things that I learned out of the pandemic Talk was to we can do a much better job of taking care of ourselves by ourselves. Mm. In other words, we don't have to rely on the doctor. We don't have to necessarily rely on the gym. That's why I'm outside. Instead of relying on others, you need to take accountability for your health. Absolutely. That's what he's trying to say, Absolutely. people. Get it together, man. It's never Absolutely. too late. All right? Absolutely. Stay hydrated. Drink water. Now we're coming to these inverted rows. We're coming to these inverted rows. 
And with these here, as he said before, it's a prerequisite for the pull-up. So if you can't quite get your pull-up you know, uh, there yet, practice these here because you're getting your shoulders and everything used to just the motion of pulling your body up, right? So here, like you said before, it's about body control and you getting comfortable with your weight. So when you come through the inverted row, you can do it one of two ways. If you want to modify it, you're here. You can see that your legs are bent here, right? Your legs are bent here. You want to have pretty much a neutral grip. You can be overhand, you can be underhand. But that being the case, when you do your inverted row here, you're just pulling yourself up just like this. That's the modified. Or, if you're beyond the modification past the beginner, you can do them just like this here. And you're bringing your chest as close to the bar as you can. You want to keep your back straight? You don't want to dip you behind here. You don't want to do this. You don't want to come up here and then do this. Because now you're taking away from the momentum and uh, the energy that your body's trying to create when you're just holding it straight and just holding your body just like this. So, like I said before, slow and control. Slow and control. The inverted grip. The supinated grip, right? More for the bicep. I, I failed to mention that, but you're right. Right. And then the pronated grip is more for the, the tricep, the rear delts, and what have you, right? Right. All right. So let's go. So song control, right? Now you can see body straight. Body straight. And you can see he got his legs bent for the modified. So anybody can do the inverted row. And you can see the muscles that are being engaged with the inverted row. Also, another tip as well, too, keep those elbows in. You know what? I'm not flaring my elbows, right? Keep the elbows in. Working those rear delts, triceps, upper and lower trapezes, the rhomboids, the whole back in general. And oftentimes, right quick, a lot of us in calisthenics, when it comes to the pull-ups and push-ups, we tend to work our front delts and our middle delts greatly. Oftentimes, we forget about our rear delts. We want to have that bolder shoulder look. We don't want to have our front and our middle delts popping out without our real delts doing the same. You can show them, explain to them. So when you do the inverted rows, like this is your rear delts back here. This is what is working. And you can see with uh, Scott here that he has the bolder shoulder. You can see his rear delts that are protruding. You can see his middle that is protruding and you can see the front because he takes the time to work all parts of his delt that gives it that older shoulder that look. Because exactly. it's three parts to the delts, people. Right. Anterior, the lateral, and the rear, which is the posterior as well. Skip inverted row. Ah. OG Eugene, what's your goal, man? What's you your talking about my weight goal? What's your weight goal? Oh, man. What's your weight goal? Talk oh, to him. Man. While doing the inverted weights, uh, talk to him. Let's go. If it's shaking, it's bacon. It's shaking. If it's shaking, it's bacon. I'm at 199 right now. Okay. 199. So I got 14 pounds of you. Let's go. Inspire you to start working out, man. What inspired you? Oh, uh, man. I was having uh, heart problems and kidney problems, man. High blood pressure. Oh, my you God. Know? Yeah. I want to drink that brown and. Oh. and, and that Hennessy, and huh? Of course, of course. Yeah, okay, you okay. Know, not, not, not sleep properly, run all type of hours, and you know, when you're consistently doing that, you're running your immune system down, you're running your health down, you overweight, everything kind of just hit the perfect storm. The doctor was like, yo, you see yourself flying? Mm. I was like, huh? I was laughing when he said it. He was like, yo, you ain't see yourself flying? Basically, he meant that like, yo, you were supposed to be out of here. So wow. I took that the pearly gates. I took that more or less as a sign that like I need to change, switch up what I was doing. And thankfully, I got good friends, good people. It pays to have good support system. Shout out to Brother Neil, man. And yo, he just dragged me out. And like I said, he just, you know, taught me about, I'm not vegan, right. but I'm eating more plant-based than I ever have. Right, right. I'm like 65, 70% plant-based, 
what I'm eating. Just very, very conscious about what I'm putting into my body and understanding right. food is actually fuel. There you go. And just understanding the nutrients that I need. And, and like you said, just trying to take care of myself and be self-sufficient. So what you're saying is one year and forever to go? No doubt. Ah. I like that. I like that. I'm, I hope you ain't uh, copyright that. I'm going to use that. <laughs> it's all yours. <laughs> all right, ladies and gentlemen. So remember, we just finished doing the inverted rolls. That's the prerequisite until the mother of all back workouts, the pull-up which is one of my favorites, so this is my segment right here. No doubt, no doubt, no doubt. So when it comes to the pull-up, man, did you know, OG, that the average man can't do five pull-ups? Yes, actually I did know that. The average man can't do five pull-ups. Actually I did know that. So the fact that you can pick up your own body weight, guess what, you a champion already. You don't gotta compare yourself to nobody, because comparison is a thing for joy. But just make sure that you focus on your own goal. For the pull-up. I'm gonna break down the pull-up to you today. Very hard compound movement. There's a lot of people that can't pick their own body weight up. We tell people, if you're not able to do a pull-up, it could cause you a fatality. You know why, OG? Imagine yourself on a cliff. The only way you're supposed to live is for you to pull yourself up from that cliff so you can live to see another day. So this is something that's gonna be functional in everyday life, all right? So let me break down the pull-up to you. You wanna make sure that you engage your core at all times. Because when you're not engaging your core, it's called linkage of energy. You want your energy to be in one focal point. If the energy is over there, and here, here, and everywhere, then guess what? It's not in an equilateral balance. So you need to make sure that all the energy that you're doing is in one. The energy comes from the core. Contract the core, right? Next, a lot of things that explain when it comes to the pull-up is that it's all about engagement. Scapular engagement. You got scapular depression and elevation. So what you want to do here, elevation is coming up. Depression is down. So what you want to do is to relax. So you want to depress the scapula and retract your shoulders going to You want to do it right here? All right, good. Right? My core is engaged. Elbows as well too. Everything that I said in this video, make sure your elbows are not flared out. Keep your elbows in nice and tucked, all right? Shoulder width apart from the bar. Begin the core. My scapula is completely depressed. Now I'm gonna retract it. Good, right here. One. Two. Four and five. So what I'm doing right now, I'm doing an isometric pose. So I'm causing time with the tension while I'm holding the pull-up form. See what's going on here. Everything's being activated. The lats, the rhomboids, the rear delts, my core, and come back. And that's five how you do a pull-up. The last one. So five pull-ups, OG, and just hold for 10 seconds. Or more. They gotta see the, the, the six pack coming in. One. Good. Breathe. Two. Three. Quality over quantity, people. Four. Five. Now hold it. Now, brother Neil, back up. They gotta see the full form. Hold it. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Slowly come down. And. How you feel? Well, that was work. This, this it was it. good work, though. It good was good work. work. And like you said, because the reps are slow, control, you're working on your form and it's quality. Exactly. You're getting more bang for your buck. Right. Instead of just trying to rip and get and get and going for rep. Exactly. So yeah, it, it's a different, it's a different hit. It hits, it hits the muscles way different when you're doing like that. It's all about controlling the momentum. Don't let the momentum control you. you know, people when they do pull-ups, they tend to go fast. That's the endurance phase. But if you want to build muscle, quality muscle, and build strength, slow it down. Get used to the time and attention method as well too. So that's why we incorporate the holes as well. Yo, like I said, what we were saying before off camera, yo, you learn something new every day. And every this, day. This is a learning experience for me. So I'm taking what I get, and then we, you know, we're going to take it back to the lab. Take it back to South working. Jersey. Shout out to Camden. We're going to get work. All right, OG Neil, let's go. Money, one. 
two, three, four. He might as well give us ten. Six, seven, eight. Quality over quantity. Nine. Ten. Hold it. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two and one. Slowly come down. Woo! Woo! It's that black vegan the man burn, strength. The baby, the burn. It's that black vegan man come strength. Come on, you see this? <laughs> Trying to be like you, OG. <laughs> Listen, we've been doing upper body workouts all day today. One thing I'm never gonna skip. <laughs> I'm never leg gonna skip leg day. day. Leg never day. gonna skip come leg on, day. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. That cash <laughs> OG's gonna show me how to work these legs, man. So let's go. Show me the routine. Show me the routine, OG. All right. What we're gonna get into first, we're gonna do 20 jump squats. We're gonna do 20 jump squats. And then we're gonna roll into the next thing. All right. All right, we're gonna start with 20 jump squats. So 20 jump squats, all right? Type 2 muscle fibers on fire. Three, two, one. Going because I like to jump. Now, how approach it for yes. There it is, all right. <laughs> so, jump squat. We're now going to go into jump lunges. Excuse me. Can you explain to me what that means. I've never heard that word before. So, <laughs> so, so hypertrophy means to keep on attacking that same muscle okay. group right. at a very short amount of time of rest. Right. So, you're going for the pump basically, the right. blood pump. Thank you. We're pushing it, thank you. And we're, go we're going to make sure that we destroy that tissue, that muscle fiber tissue so we can have better recovery and more muscle growth. Absolutely. All right? Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. High All right, so jump lunges. Yep. How many? 20. All right. We're going to start this way. All right. right. Left? Yeah, we're going to do a left without. Okay. All right. Legs on fire. Sir. And what's the benefits of leg day? It's the foundation. Yes, sir. Can you skip leg day? That's where testosterone is built. Oh, there yes, sir. Yes, sir. There you go. Yes, sir. So, for my fellas out there, you don't want to skip leg day because it can keep you young and vibrant and vital, and you don't got to sleep on the couch. Yes, sir. <laughs> you know what I mean. <laughs> when you talk about <coughs> aging backwards, talk about it. When you talk about aging backwards, all right, fellas, you want to build that testosterone. On the way up here, you don't want that shot. Oh! You gotta do what you gotta do, but you don't want that shot because you can do this naturally. With the foods you eat, yes. the exercises that you do, yes. particularly the squats, your testes are down here, gentlemen. Talk to them! All right, that's where you build up He's testosterone. And on top of that, on top of that, the sunlight. There you go. There are studies out now to say that when you get X amount of sunlight, it's also building your testosterone. So for those in the gym, that's cool, but you may be missing out. Mm. You may be missing out. We outside. Listen, no TRT, no t t testosterone replacement therapy, none of that. This is all natural. all natural. So I guess it's on me to show y'all leg routine. We're going to do some in and out squats, and then we're going to do some squat poses. In and out. That's one rep. All right? We're going to go for, let's do 20. Okay. It's going to be, it's going to be pain, but you got to turn the pain into progress. That's the only way you're going to grow. All right, so let's go. And pain is temporary. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. 18, 19, 20. 20. Now, 60. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, oh. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 
Eight, Another nine, ten. ten. Another One, ten. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Woo! Ah! 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 That burns. That burns. Listen. Ah! That burns. I gotta make Ooh. sure I keep the OGs on their toes, man. You know what I'm oh. saying? OG, I see you picked up some water, man. What's the benefits of drinking water, man? Talk to him, please. Plenty of benefits to drinking water. Start with what's uh, going on in the inside. When it comes to drinking water, your body is pretty much made up of, of water. In order for your organs to properly function, it needs that water for it to function, for the most part. So your kidneys need the water. Your gut microbiome <laughs> needs that water. All right, because you want to flush all the toxins out your system. You want to give, on a cellular level, you want to give your cells what it is it need, which is that, that that water, all right? You want your skin to glow. Don't be fooled by the sweat and the cherry wood See the glow. soul glow. See the that smell. melanin, man. See you see what's melanin. going on here. I got my cherry wood glow flow going on. <laughs> Part of that is not just what I eat, it's hydration, it's water, all right? So what you're saying is that when you drink water, you reverse aging. Absolutely, you reverse aging. There's so many benefits to water. So put down those sodas. If you're going to drink juice, drink Put down fresh, the alcohol. Fresh, natural juices from fresh fruits and vegetables, no high C, no Capri Sun. Talk about it. That. You know what I mean? If you want to do juice. Kool-Aid, you know, no Kool-Aid. No, Kool Kool no quarter juices, you know what I mean? None of that. Stick to, bottom line, is what I say. If it has an ingredient list, you don't want it. Oh, okay. If it has an ingredient list, you don't want and it. And if you can't pronounce it, put it down. It. Exactly. Water, the best way to go. God made, it's always been here. That's what we need, natural. Right now, this is the burnout part of the workout. All right, I like to save the burnout for the last piece. Now, for this last piece, we're going to do some burpees. What we're going to get into first, all right, first round, we're going to get into five Navy SEAL burpees. All right, that's going to follow by like maybe a 30 second rest, and then we're going to get into five Spider Man burpees. All right, now when it gets into the Navy SEALs and the Spider Man burpees, the beauty of it is you get like a two pump. All right, you're going to see how it's done in a minute. No, All right, OG, so what we doing? Now, we gonna do these burpees? Yeah, I wanna do this, yeah, wanna... Oh! Okay, okay, I'm with that, I'm with that. Okay. I'm learning something today. The OG, this is the OG the OG burpee routine right here. <laughs> One. One. This anterior, the in and out of obliques. One. Two. Two. Three. Three. Four. Four, 
Listen. Listen. And just those five muscles are being activated. Absolutely. Core is being activated. Absolutely. Whole body's on fire. No gym, no problem at all. Let the earth be your gym. Listen, but I got a question to ask to both of my OGs. Personal perspective, right? I know we have a lot of friends and family that question our lifestyle. We're all gonna get old someday. We're all gonna die someday. Why you wanna limit yourself from all these different pledges? What allows you as a 48 young man, a 50 year old young man, to keep on going. Because there's a lot of people that give up on themselves even before they get into their 40s and 30s. So, what inspires you, OG? Talk to him. Inspires me and my kids. My wife. I don't want to be a disappointment to them. I don't want the dad bod. I had the dad bod once. I, didn't, I don't miss it. You know, I, I put it away. I don't want that. Yeah. So, when it comes up there, I want my family, I want my kids to look, hey, that's my dad right there. Yeah. I want my wife to look at me like, yo, I want a piece of him. There you go. I want some of that right now. <laughs> All right? That's what keeps me going. That's what keeps me going. Yeah. I mean, so, so. my man, he just kind of like more or less said pretty much everything I, I would say. But I would add to that is um, like so one of the things you mentioned about family, like, because I love and I care for my family, like, I want to be able-bodied. I don't want to be a burden mm. to them. I don't want to be, I want to be able-bodied. I want to be able to function, be able to take care of myself for as long as God has given me the to do so. There you go. You know what I'm saying? Without, without medicine, medicine, without anybody help. You know what I'm saying? I want to run when the dogs is running. I want to run with the dogs. There you go. And that's just basically how, that's just, that's just all I got. What that's all I got. I, I, you, 30 years young as I am, you know. It's a lot that's going on in this generation. It's a lot of the youth and people that's my age that are succumbing themselves to drugs, succumbing themselves to alcohol, from different substances, committing suicide, their mental health is shot. Everything you can think of, they allow the trauma to overtake them. Me, I came from trauma, but I will not go back to trauma. I've been to the dark place, but I will never go back to the dark place. So I do everything to keep me alive. I do everything to make me feel worthy. I do everything to make me feel strong for me to get my mind right. I've been to that dark place. I don't want to go back there. So I make sure I do everything that I can. And also, another thing that motivates and inspires me is that the time here on this earth is limited. Mm. But I want to make sure I do everything with my time. Squeeze the juice out of me. Everything with my time. And while I'm here on this earth, create a legacy. That's what keeps me going, legacy. Because when I'm gone, when this body is gone, legacy my spirit, is. the legacy lives on and my spirit goes. Yes, this is just a yes, physical manifestation. Yes, but my spiritual will live on. You remember the name Groundhog. And not because of for clout or for recognition or anything like that. It's for all the good that I did on this earth. For the people that I inspired by here on this earth. People remember how selfless I was. I wasn't selfish. I was selfless. Right? So all of those inspire me also to be somebody that you could look up to as far as my family goes, which they do look up to me now because they know how far I've came. That's it, man. And I appreciate you both. Appreciate because you. I'm 30, 48, 50, and I see people that's your age and your age, and they're not living life. Because just because you're living doesn't mean that you're living. Right. Just right. because you're living doesn't mean that you're living. Right. And I see you brothers living life and living more abundantly, so that's what inspires me, OG. And I appreciate you so much you. for coming out Thank to the Bronx to Thank get this work in with me, Thank man. You. Talk to him. I've been watching this man's videos for the last year and a half. He comes off in his videos as very welcoming, informative, uh, and, and kind. I met him for the first time last weekend. When I first met him, he's like, oh, I, I, told, I said something like, yo, you're really inspiring, so on and so forth. He took that to heart. Yo, let's get a picture. Yo, take, take, take my contact information. You don't think I use that? <laughs> Two days later, I was texting like, oh, you gave me a number, I'm using this. Oh, we outside. You and, and, and you invited me to come work out with you? I was all on it. That's how welcoming he is. You know, you look at some of these YouTube influencers and you know, we look at them as being famous, and they are, they are. But to find someone who is just cool. down to earth, humble, inviting us from South Jersey, Camden, and Willingboro to come work out with him up here in the Bronx, 
Come on, man. You can't beat that. And we came. We here. We outside. Collaboration so, over competition, man. I appreciate him for just the invite because this is an experience for us. We're going to take this back down to South Jersey. We're going to put this in our own routine. Appreciate and we're going to do that to teach other. He's talking about a legacy. This legacy has now extended down to South Jersey. Woo! That's what we're talking about. So Listen, we appreciate, man, I appreciate you. Appreciate you. Man. All right. Shout out to you, bro. Shout out to you, Eugene, man. Can't, can't leave without saying this. I don't even want to cut the brother yeah, off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Please, please, please. Check us out at Black Charter Fitness on Instagram. Yes! At Black Charter Fitness, all one word on Instagram. We got good content on there. And we appreciate the brother here for you know just inviting us out here, like I said before. So all love. Listen, man. All, love. all the information will all be love. in the description yeah. below, alright? It's your boy Scott Brown Hall. Rate, comment, like, and subscribe. Shout out to my two OGs, man. OG Neil and OG Eugene straight from South Jersey. Represent them. And listen, man, just share this video, like the video. And if you wanna train like a saying, don't forget to get the Goku shorts from justsaying.com. Use my code Brown Hall, man. We out. Let's go! Woo! Hey, play Scott! It's the loaded one. James Bond, Golden Gun. Can't touch this MC who go more hammer than Odin's son. You know this. But then again, they ain't recognize Oprah once. But your man going out like Clips couch when the sofa sunk. Is this quantity or quality? Queens Dilla on a holler street. Gonna tell me about a dope run. I'm Chinatown Opio. You don't want this smoke.